So the game everyone's been waiting for, Palia, is finally out in open beta, and swarms of people are rushing to download it. But a lot of people are disappointed in the lack of controller support. And while this is on their roadmap to be by the end of the year, it is essential for players' comfort and accessibility needs to use controllers. So in this video, we're gonna show you how to add controller support to Palia using two programs, Anti-Micro X and Hid Hide. So Anti-Micro X is a program that will bind keyboard keys to your controller. And Hid Hide is a program that's going to make sure that only Palia listens to that. Now, all this is done on a system level, it's not modifying Palia's files in any way, so there's no risk of bans or repercussions. So the first thing you need to do is download these two programs. I'll put all the links in the description. Once you've downloaded, you need to install Hid Hide, let it do its thing, and then restart your PC. So once you've restarted, you just need to plug in the controller or whatever you're using, and then right click on the Hid Hide client and run it as admin. So when you've got it open, you need to click the inverse application cloak option and then use the plus button to add some files. So here's a list of the files you're going to be adding. The easiest way to find these is to find the desktop shortcut Palia, right click, open file location. That will take you to the folder where everything is located. And you just need to look around and find these. I'll also leave a list of these files in the description for you to see. So once you've added those files to the list, you're going to navigate to the Devices tab and check the box next to your desired controller. And once you've done this, go down and also check the Enable Device Hiding option and then close the program. So now with that configured, we need to configure the Anti-Micro X. Now you could go through each input one by one and map it yourself, or you can do it the really easy way and download this configuration file. Again, link in the description. So all you have to do for that is click load, select the file you just downloaded, and it should automatically map all the keys to the buttons that you need. So the last thing you have to do is launch Palia, go to the settings and go down to the sprint option and say hold to sprint rather than toggle or tap. It makes it much easier. Now, because this is an unofficial workaround, it doesn't work perfectly. There are some things that are still a little tricky to navigate with controller, such as managing your inventory or conversations. So if you can, have your mouse handy just to kind of do those things. If not, it is manageable with controller. Um, it's just not quite as easy as you'd like just yet. And also you will have to run Anti-Micro X every time you play a Palia, but you'll only have to configure it the first time. After that, it should be fine. And that's it. Thank you for watching. If this has helped you, drop a comment down below. Tell me how you're enjoying Palia. And also consider subscribing. I'll probably be doing a lot more Palia content because I can't stop playing it. I'm also streaming it on Twitch, twitch.tv slash Focus Law. Uh, it'd be great to see some of you there. Hope this has helped. Bye.